So let's review the important points that we've discussed so far. First, be your own guru. Don't let anyone insert themselves between you and your source. That's bogus. We all have different paths to walk on our spiritual journey. There is no one-size-fits-all experience. A spiritual journey is a movement towards joy, love, and forgiveness. Everything is energy. Slow vibrating energy appears to our senses as matter for the purpose of us having the experience of being able to interact with it. Fast vibrating energy, which includes our thoughts, has dominance over the slow energy matter and it can influence it. We live in both worlds simultaneously and we must be able to manage both successfully. Our lives are not about controlling, winning, or losing the slow energy situations that are in our experience, but rather it's about the controlling of our energy, our fast-moving energy, our thoughts, and our feelings in the middle of those circumstances. Negative emotions indicate resistance and hindrance to energy flowing. Negative energy implies resistance and not letting energy flow freely. Our thoughts are millions of times more powerful than we realize. Scientists know this and they take steps to eliminate are thinking for medical trials by using placebos. Why would they do this if they did not know how powerful our minds are? You can create your own placebos for your benefit with your mind, but also be aware of creating nocebos, things that you don't believe in, and those things you should avoid. The only facility that we human beings have for measuring high vibrating energy is our emotional feelings. Connecting to that higher vibrational energy part of ourselves feels joyful. Joy is the absence of resistance and it gives the law of attraction a pathway to reach you. As Abraham said, there is nothing, nothing more important than you feel good and get happy any way that you can. Don't take offense at anything, even if it's aimed directly at you. Just laugh it off. Understand that there are four distinct parts of our brain and each processes information differently. And it's important to know which part of our brain is active in the present moment. Our number one and number two brains are meant for dealing with this slow energy physical world that we live in. They offer struggle, control, bad feelings, and judgment. The number three and four parts of our brain are meant for dealing with the fast energy part of ourselves. They offer fun, joy, and love. To overcome the inertia of the slow energy world that we're living in, we need to actively feed our number three and four parts of our brain. Our number one brain needs to stand down until it's called upon to help solve a problem. Our number two brain needs to be reassured that we have received its message and we are safe and then tell it to work in the background and not dominate our consciousness. Our number two brain needs to be acknowledged and then ignored unless we're in active danger. Develop strategies and tools and objects of focus that make you feel good. Give them your intense focus as much as possible. Stop doing anything that makes you feel bad and don't let your number one brain rationalize to you that it's important. Develop a lifestyle change and be consistent with a daily routine. Your spiritual path is not 
an intellectual exercise. Reasoning will not get you there. You've got to feel your way to connection. It's a feeling that must be experienced. Develop momentum towards joy. You'll know when you reach your goal because joy will bubble up spontaneously into your experience. The better it gets, the easier it gets. That's momentum. Don't wait for something to happen to come along and make you feel good. Generate your own joyful feelings in the present moment. Feel as if your desires have already happened. Once you reach the stage of feeling connected, you will be inspired and guided by your higher self to the life experience that you want and your soul intended for you to have. Now, if you understand these points, then it should be easy for you to clearly understand the superpower that we all have. And we'll discuss that next. I welcome any comments, suggestions, discussions down below. A thumbs up and subscribe are always welcome. Please keep watching. We have plenty more to discuss. Thanks.